In this short video, I am going to show you how to use Climate Engine and Climate Engine website is linked in the comments section of this video as well to download basic climate um, data such as precipitation or evapotranspiration and do some basic analysis using the downloaded data. All right, so I'm going to close this window first since I'm going to give you a tour of how to navigate to this website. This website will uh, give you the ability to create maps or to create graphs and download the data. We are going to download graph for the purpose of the, the assignment. So I'm going to create, click on make, uh, make graphs. All right. So what we are going to do right now, you can see that you have one point. You need to select the city that you want to. I'm going to roughly put it in where um, the Twin Cities are. So it should be like somewhere over here, roughly. You are going to be a, a little bit more exact about it. So you can zoom in and put it exactly where you want to, right? Okay. But just for the purpose of demonstration, that's accurate enough for me. All right. So... I am interested in two variables. Variable number one is precipitation. Variable number two is evapotranspiration. So I'm going to um, add another variable. So instead of having one variable analysis, I'm going to have two variable analysis. You can see that variable two shows up over here. So under climate and hydrology, I'm going to select PRISM. PRISM is a data system that is developed by uh, University of Oregon that gives you um, climate data on a monthly or daily basis. I select monthly uh, and then what I want is precipitation in millimeters and I don't want to change the resolution or I don't want to change the st statistic of the data. The last thing that I want to change is the time period. I want the precipitation from the entire period that data is available which is from January 1895 all the way to January 2022. All right, so that's my variable number one. Now I'm going to click on variable number two. And this time, again, I'm going to uh, select PRISM monthly data. And then instead of precipitation, I'm going to select on Hargreaves potential evapotranspiration. Potential ET is over here. And then changing the time period to the entire available time period. And then click on get time series. Depending on how fast your computer is, this is going to take a while. Since I'm recording the video right now, this is going to take a little bit longer than normal. But once uh, the process of the processing of your data is done, you'll be able to see these graphs on x-axis. You have time and on y-axis. Left hand side you have precipitation and right hand side you have potential evapotranspiration. So if you click on uh, precipitation on the legend. It turns it off and you see the green graph, which is uh, potential evapotranspiration. You can do the same thing with ET to be able to see the rainfall. All right. So this is hard to work with specifically since you are going to figure out the climate. You need to average these data, right? So you need to have the numbers. You can download the data into a CSV file. And I'm going to download it, for example. Edit the data is downloaded over here. Let me bring it over here for you. There we go. So now the data is downloaded all the way from January 1st, 1895 to January um, 2022. And this is the data that I have. The second column is precipitation in millimeters. And the third column is evapotranspiration in millimeters. Now, based on this downloaded data, you'll be able to go to the table that punts recommended in order to find um, the average climate of an area. And this is how you download climate data from Climate Engine.